N1. Oh, I thought Mr. you were going to say we're going to take a look at the bottom, nothing to say, so we are moving away from the bottom lane. <laughs> and now we'll look up top. More to say here than bottom. Jinq. He's been up against Borax. They've been trying to fight each other back and forth to go, and Jinq dragged the creep wave. He does enchant that four. Jinq now in some trouble. The Jinq about to proc. This could be first blood. Bound there it the strike is. is in. Monet gets first blood. I'm just More kills. Started. Then the last game already for him. Needs to bring some extra the tower. Region. White Album obscures, but it brings Ame with him. Adaptive Strike, and White Album will crumble. And this is why to use it. As now it's looking like Ame wants to make a move once again, but Borax is here. He put his shot, Adaptive Strike, as well as the Shockwave from Borax. Illuminate splits between White Album as well as the Enchantress. Wait for him with the Swashbuckle. Shockwave, Skewer, or P. Oh, that he got lands. the morph off. Morph in trouble, but there is the spear as well as the impale. Seems they like get it doesn't matter. Multiple stuns underneath the tower. Sitting towards uh, the bottom half, just barely above it. Swashbuckle again, Lanham, Illuminate. Spike Carapace and the two man impale wave form forward from Ame trying to get a kill on this Nyx Assassin who is moving at 355 way faster than these heroes on the side of LGT. But the blink strike from nothing to say. They got it, they got it real good. Let's we'll see if he commits. Arena down bottom, skewer. Or actually, sorry, the spear. Skewered him to the wall. Jinku ends up dead. Lanham gets the kill. Faster, and you still have a Ricky. That, okay, Ricky, interesting build. He's going for the Diffuser Blade this time. Yeah, changing it up from what we saw when Ame played that Ricky in the first game. Monet, Faith Beyond is chasing, and he's only level five, so they don't have a way to stop him in his tracks, but the Illuminate Ame is here. Monet in some trouble, wait for him over. Look at that Jinku to proc and won't be able to survive. Faith Beyond with the kill on the Monkey King. Impale, and now they've got the dust. Smoke screen is down, RP is used, that lands on a two, but there's no follow-up. The Illuminate comes arena. in, now the Arena is out, and it only gets Jinq. He'll be speared to the wall. This is uh, a lot less than maybe Aster would have been hoping for. I'm not going to say deep. And Borax, hand of Midas queued up. Like this, Enchantress really wants to scale. Going for Borax, they brought over Monet. Oh god, another two-man stun coming through from the Nyx Assassin. Innocent and Ame die. They get a kill into Borax, but a good turnaround from Aster taking out Ame, and there are the tips coming through from this Aster lineup. XXS and Borax, Magnus. Ooh, RP, that's through onto the Beastmaster. They'll land the stun, they'll get the kill. Faith Beyond is gone, White Album saying goodnight. Rolling Thunder going up towards Lanham. Primal Roar is committed to Borax, but LGD went the other direction. So they don't get this kill just yet. The Blinding Light pushing Borax back. Spike Carapace, nothing to say, lays down the silence. They still don't get the kill on the Enchantress. Wukong's command comes in from Monet. They get the kill on an Innocence. They end up losing this Kato. Lanham dead, so does Faith Beyond. Well, it's a two for one so far. Nothing to say on the run. The Primal Springs a little bit. And now it's picked up. Ooh, going for this next assassin. Nothing to say. He's been caught. There's the RP coming through. That's onto the Morphling and that's onto the Ricky. They get the kill on nothing to say. They look over at Ame. Here comes Monet. Trying to wave for him. Get some distance, but not too far out of the hands of this Aster lineup. Though, he gets out. He gets recalled by Innocence. Escaping by the skin of his LGD. They want this Roche. They want this Aegis. They're going to make an attempt at it. With Aster without the Nyx Assassin. The question is whether or not they're willing to fight. He's only dead for 15 seconds. Right, it's more. going down too fast. So quickly, the arena's a little bit late. They've got themselves the Primal Roar. And he morphed into this Mars. Throws the God's Rebuke out. Blink Strike on to XSS. Speared back. Give it a shot. It's coming through from the Enchantress. One more shot until they get the kill on to XSS. They'll take out this Mars. They'll look over at Forex trying to TP out. Nothing to say gets the kill. Two heroes gone. Innocence bought back. Uh, kill. Spree. I believe he managed to be. Pop by White Album. Now the skewer back. Silence, balance, strike. Ricky in some trouble. Wukong's command comes out. The 
dust is through, but not uh, He's going to die to Vukongs. He's dead to Monet. They've also caught Ame waveform back, looking for the Primal Spring to close the gap. Monet going in deep, looking over now at Innocence, who are blinding light, but it doesn't matter with BKB Pop by this Monkey King. Blink forward from XSS. Ricky retreats. Three heroes gone on LGD. Aster just jumping down the throats of LGD. 19, so just for comparison. They're going to use the Abyssal Blade on the Boar Fling. Follow that up with the Spear. He's trying to survive, but there's the Impale. RP everything. And a BKB. Thrown. Like, they just threw everything at him. I don't think BKB was needed. They could have... He's stuck. Why is he waiting for him? All right. They're still the chasing monkeys. Trees, Primal Spring. And now the Bash is the Abyssal Blade. So is that E-Blade. And now the Coddle is the one who dies. Innocence is gone in the air, though. Is Morphling. They've got the Spear, the Balance Strike. Monet with another monster kill streak. And 80 seconds without the Morph. They'll at least take out Lana, but nothing to say. Needs the Blink Strike away and get some space. And they're still looking into those trees. Bounty. But is he out? Ooh, trying to TP. I'm not sure that spear would have hit if he had just committed. So now Jin Q in a lot of trouble. Stunned up, Abyssal, dead. Monet now got on 10, 1, and 6. Catch this Pangolier out. They're continuing to throw the smoke screen, but there's just no point where they can get in. There's the wing as well as the rolling veterans on everybody. They've got themselves the arena down with the BKB Popeye White Album. Now the Abyss Blade is thrown on this Magnus, but is it going to be enough? He turns into the Magnus and skewers away. They're still holding on RP. They've got themselves the Balance Strike as well as the RP coming out of the Boar Flame. There's the Wind Waker. Look at that. They've got the Wind Waker, but is it enough? They're in the Wukong's command. The waveform out of the circle. Now looking back in, they already got the kill on Alanum. They're going to look over at Monet. The Monkey King still within the Wukong's command. The Blinding Light keeps him away. He's but not moving. The axes, he's not getting far enough. He tries to get into the trees. The TP out from White Album. Is this a successful defense? They're still trying to catch up to the Monkey King. They get the kill into the Mars. They've taken out two without buyback on the side of Aster. But with this shard, look how quick he just on this. Except for the Morph. Oh, look at them go. They're descending on a Primal Hawk. War. They're going to go through. And now they've got the arena down with the spear hits as well as the sun on the feet. Beyond this is going poor. They go after Innocence. They've got the balance strike that comes through. They've got themselves the refresher shard and now they're going to look to get this kill. RP is used. It's around the Pangolier as well as the Morphling. This was a play from LGD that's going sour very quickly. Waveform away. Jinkyu's dead. Three heroes got to the side of LGD. It was an all or nothing play that doesn't work out. Ame is dead. A hundred seconds. With Has a buyback. That was, uh, you know, they feel they need to do something different instead of a straight up uh, five versus five. So himself, kind of gross. The amount of farm he's got. Third on the net worth, ahead of the Ricky, ahead of his own Magnus. Point Thunder coming through with the silence onto the Monkey King. They're gonna jump on him once again. Mars waiting in the wing, ready to go. Gets the arena down, but there's the silence of the DKB. They've got themselves the spear that hits onto the Pangolier. We are waiting the wind for waker. They take out the first life out of the hands of this Monkey King. He'll be back up in three seconds. Spear thrown, hits XSS. They've got wow, the Wind Storm onto this Pangolier. They get the kill on Atlanta. Now they'll look over at XSS, who no longer has the BKB. They'll use the Primal War. Can they get anything more? RP, it's a whiff from White Album. It's not going to be the right play for him as I he think finally wins. It's time to back off. On for LGD, they're going to go after Borax. Sproink. Will Sproink away. The infinite shots are not going to matter. They're not going to turn the side of LGD. XSS tries to TP out and he'll be successful in doing so. But 98 seconds without Borax. Wide out. But with the TP, it's a long one. Just gets away from the Ricky White Album whiffing. And it, it's a big game changer. The buyback was used by Lanham. They get the kill on the Vine, potentially, for Monkey King. He's got the Empower to work with. He said he didn't need the Battle Fury. Now it's a possible time to get rid of it. Primal Spring, Balance Strike that comes through under the Morph Link. They pop the Linkus, but they get the Impel from Lanham! Now the Silence is out. They've got the Abyss Wave being thrown onto this Monkey King. The Arena is down as well as the BKB being There's used the Wind by Waker XSS. Again. They've got the Wind Waker into the Wukong's command, trying to wait for him to get himself out of this one, but they've got themselves the Skewer that comes through onto the Ricky, trying to trick the trade, make his way out, but nothing to say is dead. He's got buyback. And he had a Divine Rapier, that would have been dropped, that would have been the game. But he does have buyback to work with Monkey King. He's got 10k gold ready to spend. Still does not want to get rid of that, the Battle Fury. Was a net worth lead, Monet. Uh, they they, they want to poke. Aster wants to get that buyback out of LGD. Oh, she crash, silence. GQ low, GQ dead. He's got buyback. Gem on the deck, though. Don't take this Rax just yet. 
Couple more shots. And now there's the buyback. The Rack survives bottom for a second, but XSS has one more poke. Naked barracks on the mid, no tier 3 tower, so they can go in. These are gonna be mega creeps, still 30 seconds without Ricky. Like, Ricky does not want to use a buyback, but... They uh, got it. Okay, so they, they can actually survive without Ricky using the buyback here, because Jin Q bought back. And they're gonna go in with the Rolling Thunder, that's the bleak forward, but the Abyssal Blade is used on it. Jin Q is trying to get away with the Wukong Span right on top of him. That's He's a buyback. Dead for 114 seconds, they've got the Glyph, that'll hold. Ricky will be back up in five. The Glyph will leave when he's got four seconds remaining on this buyback. This back. is gonna be mega creeps. Ricky is out. Ooh, All they right, they're not up. committing. Like, I still feel they could just go in with the one hero and uh, try to finish, finish it off. Rack. The charge, let's see what he gets out of this. The Wukong's just so massive and it makes it a problem for nothing to save. They've got themselves the arena, but the Blinding Light pushes XSS out of it. They've got the Battle Strike as well the Abyssal Blade. This Ricky's just back, but the Wind Waker saves him for a second. They follow that up with the Abyssal. They've got the control that gets the kill on nothing to save. Force is the one who gets it. They'll buy back. They've got a lot of heroes on the side of Master Monet trying to fight into this one. Ame on the run back, but That's now maybe creeps. they turn this around. They've got themselves mega creeps. They get the kill on Monet. He's got buyback. He's down for 99 seconds as they find Borax. They hit the adaptive strike. They'll look to kill off this enchantress. Sproink back. Not gonna matter. Tricks of the trade is there. They got themselves a second. Roach may respawn in eight seconds. Get those tier fire items and uh yeah, we still they've have the Mega Creeps. Honor, beyond, they hit the Mega Strike. Here comes the Rolling Thunder. And now they're going to wait for it forward. They've got the damage coming in on the Lanham. He's almost dead. Yule's in the air. They will come in Jinkyu. They get the kill on the beyond as well as Jinkyu. They take out Lanham. It's going to be a two for one. They bought back on the Nyx Assassin. They've also taken out Lanham. That's, that's the Divine Rapier on the deck. Now let's see if, well, this Ricky has anything to say for it. Tricks of the Trade doing a lot of damage. Now they will go over to get the kill on the Innocent. Nothing to say. He can't get into this one. Triple kill for Monet. There's the Tricks of the Trade. Takes out the Mars. Excess is gone. They've got buyback available on Ame as well as the Cottle. The buyback on the Mars. Access us back into the fight, and now they're going to charge down mid. You've got the tier fives available, but now nobody to pick them up with three heroes and spell some uh, extra attributes. But uh, yeah, you can target an enemy or an ally, and uh, you are untargetable. Muted, disarmed, and applies a basic dispel. So most of the time, you're going to use that uh, for defensive. Oh, they stunned up the Monkey King. They're going to oh, die. The damage. They've got the damage with the tricks of the trade to just take out Monkey as well as XSS. XSS is in a buyback down with Forex. That's going to be three heroes down to the side of Astro. They've got no buyback. The Enchantress as well as the Mars immediately. They just blew them up. And that is Monkey King's Divine Rapiers now in the hands of LGD from 40k to 6k in the hands of LGD. Immediately buys another Divine Rapier as he buys back into the game. He was a uh, god. So this is going the other way. GQ, he's going to try and get something with this. The RP comes through. That's going to be on Ami. Can they get the damage? They've got the Wind Waker from Innocence. They've got the Arena down with the BKB speed pop. They get the kill on the Ami. They take him out. Exorcist is gone. They're going to buy back on those Morphling as well as this Magnus taking the Mars back with the buyback. But Boundless Strike! Nothing to say! Divine Rapiers on the deck. All three buyback. Three Divine Rapiers in the hands of Monkey King from 10k to LGD Dude, to 26k to <laughs> 31k. Oh my god! Everybody's alive again for LGD. They've got a Divine Rapier on the Enchantress. Last time they fought, they melted. This time, they get the kills. Had most Divine Rapiers handled to other players because this one's uh, pretty insane. You know, you see Ricky with the Blink Divine to Daedalus. That, that's his item build and the E on disc. So literally, he had nothing. Now he picks up another Tricks Rapier. Thunder once again with the Shivas. They were looking into the pit. They're gonna try and bowling Thunder and make sure that they're not able to get into the pit and take anything from this. No! The RP! That comes through! Snatching Aegis is Borax! They get the kill on the White Alpha. They're gonna go over to the Lincoln's against Pots of my Ame. He's fallen. BKB's been popped by Monet. He's in the Wukong's command. They've got this Knight's Assassin Atlas is in ready. the air. Line him on the run, but the Blinding Light that comes through. They've stunned up Monet. They get the kill on the Borax. He's gonna be dead. Three heroes on the side of Master run away. Without buyback. They're gonna take this Monkey King away Creeps from the equation. Are in the base. Creeps are in the base pushing, but it's not enough just yet. 8k lead for Aster, no Ame Morphling for 104 seconds, 3 Divine Rapiers still in the hands of this Monkey King, 2 for Ricky, it's back and forth, they bought back on Lanham, it was almost a 1v4. Going to commit, neither will LGD, both teams feeling each other's presence, but not making the move, the smoke is out from Aster, and now they're going to go the other way, they might catch Innocence by himself, he's all alone, there's the Blink as well as the Arena, they've got themselves the Hex, but the Aeon just comes in, No Fire drops him down outside the Arena! There they go with the Rolling Thunder that's going to bounce around. They're looking for the RP. They've got themselves their hands right on the Ricky. They've also got the Invisible Wave, but there's the Primal War on the Magnus. Do they have the damage in the Wukong's man? They take out White Out. He's dead for 100 seconds without buyback. The Nullifier's going to be thrown from the Enchantress onto the Pangolier once again. GQ now Wind going Waker. back. Sproink away. They've got the Wind Waker. The Wukong Girl Adam. They'll continue to chase on this Nyx Assassin Spike Carapace. 
Ooh, can they get the kill? A nice little impale, not gonna matter. Lanham's dead to faith beyond two heroes gone with no buyback. Oh, maybe Asher needs to start thinking differently, because right now, PSG LGD had... That's the sneaky bottom. play that I talked about. They're, They're in. Sneak it. They're gonna go for the tier fours. The 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 Glyph is cuts, used. There's the RP. Glyph. Do they, they have make it? To go for this. They've got Faith Beyond in a little bit of trouble. They've got the smoke as well. The hex coming out of their level. With the BKBB pop by Monet. They've got the rolling thunder coming go through. Go for the buildings. Do they have the damage and get the Kona Innocence as well as Faith Beyond? They're both gonna buy back. They're looking for the RP. They'll pop the Lincolns on JQ. They're trying to go for the building, but they do have backdoor protection. They take it for the Pangolin. They get the Kona Faith Beyond once again. He's gonna be dead with no buyback this time. Rolling thunder comes out on Aladdin. He ends up falling. He's got buyback. And Monkey King forced to buy back as he ends up dead. They'll take out Borax. Down goes White Album. Buybacks are in, but the Divine Rapiers are on the deck. And now they're going to be spread out, sharing the wealth. Two Who's Divine Rapiers them? still sitting in the base. Uh, Monkey King is like, I, I need to do something with all this gold. What did now he buy? Now he doesn't have Divine Rapiers anymore. He has one. That's one flying out to him. Ooh. Two oh, Divine Rapiers still in up. the base. I still feel the better play would be if they just, like, fake start a team fight with heroes that they don't need like nyx assassin uh, possibly enchantress and uh, maybe even uh, magnus you know just to try to stop the tps while monkey king plus one or two are hitting the throne they're aster but the lanes are in a very good condition right now for psg lgd Lana moving forward, boundless strike, that's gonna be through! Out of the Ricky, they'll pop the air disc! Now they've got the stun, as well as the Abyssal Blade! But here comes Ame, he's gonna pop the BKB, they've used the RP, White Album! Locks him down! Takes out nothing to say, Ame is gone, see you later! They're both gonna buy back, they've got buyback on the Ricky, they'll buy back on Ame, they'll take out Innocence, the Divine Rapiers have just been kicked back into the hands of Aster, just like that, White Album! Coming back in clutch with a massive RP. Now Enchantress is holding on to two Divine Rapiers and uh, only two heroes with the buyback right now. That's uh, both Astro members, Mars and... Who? Who? What's his name? Magnus, man. My brain's what? not working anymore. Yeah. So no Glyph. I think they Ooh, should try. Divine and a Moon Shard. I think they should try and uh, just close out this game. This is a very close one. Looking for the long, long, long game to end, as is the song of the White Album. They've got themselves the Lincoln's Pop. They'll go for the kill on a both this Pangolier as well as the Morphling, but they're AO kick right now. The damage coming out from Borax is felt! That's no buyback on no him. Buy That's back. game. The Ancient is dead, and Esther are victorious! It is all over for LGD. They lose the series. Esther finally finish it off 88 minutes in. 50 to 37. <laughs> of course, you're going to be able to. Uh, you have heroes that can deal with mega creeps, but it doesn't matter at some point. If